Hey, what do you say my fellow weekend warriors? Today we're smoking up a slab of St. Louis cut ribs in the Pit Boss vertical smoker. We're gonna do it a little bit different today. We're gonna hang it from the top rack. So let's get the smoker set up real quick and then we'll trim these up and put them in the smoke. And first things first, we're gonna get some water in the pan. Fill that puppy up. And then I normally cook about the center rack level, but today we're gonna move this rack all the way up to the top position, just like that. We'll get this door closed. I'm smoking at 250 degrees Fahrenheit today, and I'm using the whiskey blend pellets. They have a real nice aroma, I really enjoy it. Good smoke flavor, good smoke ring. And while that comes back up the temp, let's get our ribs going. All right, so here's my spares. I picked these up today from the butcher. We're gonna give them a light trim. So for that, we'll just get out a little cutting board. Lay this guy out. And because this thin end is gonna cook way faster than the rest of it, I'm just gonna cut it off and we can cook that separately. So I'm gonna go right about here. And then if we look at this side, I'm gonna square these up a little bit right along these knuckles. Get a little bit of this excess fat. I'm keeping the skin on, the membrane on the back. And there we go, those are nice and squared up. Then for my rub today, I'm gonna to use one that my butcher made for me. It's his rib rub seasoning, and it has chili powder, mustard, onion, garlic, cumin, coriander, caraway, pepper, and paprika. I love that. So the way these come in a jar, I need to put it in a shaker. So we'll load up my shaker. That looks like it's about enough. And I'm not gonna use any binders today. If you want, you can use uh, yellow mustard or some kind of a vegetable oil. You could even use water. I'm gonna get a nice thick coat. I'll just pat it in. Flip it over. We'll do the same thing to this side. We're just gonna let this sit out on the counter for about 10 minutes, let the meat start to sweat. That'll act as its own binder, and then we'll put it in the smoke. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. The rub looks nice and wet. And so what we're gonna do is just come down on the thicker side of the ribs, grab yourself that first bone, and then you're gonna put in a rib hook. I bought these rib hooks, I got six of them for my uh, Gateway Drum Smoker from their website. But I'm sure you can find others. We're just gonna hook it right through the center, come through the meat, and there we go. Let's get it in there. Let's go ahead and get this door open. And it's real simple, depending on how many you wanna hang. I'm just hanging one today. I'm just gonna put it right there on the center bar where all the strength is. If I pull this out a little for you, you can see better what I'm talking about. Right across that crossbar. You could probably, in my three series, you could probably hang four racks just like that. So let's close it up. Get this door closed. And we'll be back in about an hour to show you how they're looking. We just hit the one hour mark. Let's see how they're looking. Wow. So those are totally dried out. So I'm gonna spritz them with some water on both sides. This side as well. And so the way these dried out, I'm thinking I need to come back about every half hour to spritz them. There we go. Let's 
get this door closed again. And we'll be back in another hour to see how they're looking. All right, we're coming up on our second hour. Look at that smoke rolling out of here. It smells so good. I've been spritzing about every half hour now. Let's get this door open and see how they look. All right. Just pull them a little forward so you can see better. It's a nice looking rack right there. Nice and dark from that rub. It's taking on plenty of smoke. And we're just gonna rehydrate our bark help it draw in some more smoke. Look at that, that is beautiful. We've got this little nugget up here. Don't want to forget about that guy. Let's push him back in and we'll let him go for another hour. All right, we are three hours into this cook open her up and see how it's looking. Man, that's gorgeous. That is a gorgeous looking slab of ribs right there. We'll give it a little bit of a spritz. If I look at the bones over here, we're starting to get some nice pullback. And normally this would be the point where I wrap it. But I think what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and let this go for maybe another hour. We might not wrap them at all. So we'll get this door closed, come back in another hour and see how we're doing. We are coming up on the four hour mark. Let's get this door open, release the smoke. Those are looking just phenomenal. Nice pullback on the bones. And so what I'm gonna do while they're hanging, I'm gonna hit them up with this, the meat stall meat frosting. It's a fantastic barbecue sauce. This was given to me by uh, my buddy Thyron over at TNT Barbecue. And to sauce them up, I'm just gonna put a little bit. I don't like a lot of sauce in my ribs. So we're gonna go light. And I'm just gonna start brushing it on. There we go. Just a nice light coat. And there we go. I'm ready to cut these up. I've got the ribs on the cutting board. We did four hours in the smoke. We didn't wrap them. We let them hang the whole time, taking on smoke on both sides, nice and even. I brushed on that sauce there at the last second. And these things just look really killer. I can't wait to cut into one of these and give it a taste. So let's do it. Let me just pull this hook out of here. Flip it over so I can see the bones. And I'll make myself a little cut. Flip them all back over. And let's see how we did here. That is looking really good. Nice smoke ring there on the top. Juicy, look at the juice. Oh man, and we didn't even wrap these. Got a little hint of barbecue sauce. That killer rub from my butcher. Let me get a bite. Doesn't get much better than this. Beautiful day. Slab of ribs hanging out in the smoker. Here we go. Mm. Clean off the bone. Mm. That is a good tasting rib right there. 
hey, give it a shot, hang some ribs. And if you guys like this pit boss video, check out one of those two right there and I'll see you over there.